All right, it's Wednesday morning and I have a very busy day. We've made it through this part of the week so far. So I'm kind of excited about today. It's going to be a good day, busy day. Uh, one of those days we can get back to doing training on a regular basis and I'm excited about that. Always like to do that. So a couple of things I wanna talk about today and I've titled today's um, live feed, where do we go from here? Or where do I go from here? Which is a really good question. I, I think sometimes we just really uh, wonder, are we going to be able to continue in exactly the same fashion that we have been forever? We've had Facebook and we've had Twitter and we've had YouTube and we've had those platforms. Are those platforms going to continue? Are we going to be able to continue to use them? Um, you, you know, and I'm not talking about from a political standpoint. I'm just talking about um, what's going to be the best way for us to go forward. Because we need to do one thing that we failed to do. We have to understand that when we're on a platform like Facebook or Twitter, we're on a borrowed platform. We are borrowing somebody else's space and we're using that space to accomplish our goals and our purposes. <clears throat> so my third point in today's today's live feed is that we have to own our audience. We have to own the platforms that we're on. So it's really important what are we going to do in order to make that happen? Because YouTube has really enjoyed us advertising for them. Uh, every time I put a YouTube video out someplace, what happens is that when that video is over with, then YouTube is suggesting other things that can be done. If you don't have a YouTube premium account, then they're making advertisements during your YouTube video. So we don't really own that platform. Same thing is true with Facebook. When we go to Facebook, we don't necessarily own, we don't own Facebook's platform at all. We have to play by their rules. They may tell us you can't post that, or they may tell us that that's not going to be allowed. And that's a possibility. That's a frustration to an awful lot of people. Um, it wasn't a frustration to me. I had it happen to me a couple of times that I had made a comment, a very innocuous comment, but because of the <coughs> things that people had commented back, I was prohibited from responding to them, which I thought was really weird. I could not respond to them. So just reminded me of the fact that we don't own our platform. So where do we go? What do we do? And why is that important? So those are the three things I want to talk about today. I have, I, I've been looking into a site called Locals. And so I've added the link right there that is, no, actually it's right there now. It's in the comments. <coughs> I didn't put it in the um and put it in the description. I put it in the comments, so you'll find it in the comments. And it says Eric said Eric said dot locals dot com. And uh, I don't know very much about this platform. I don't know very much about this space. But it's kind of a YouTube, Facebook, sort of a combination of your ability to be able to add content there. Uh, you can invite your audience to that. You can have an audience that that can that can participate. So I just opened the account. Uh, I'm going to invite you all to connect with me on locals.com. Um, I think it's kind of an interesting platform. I think it's can, it has a, a live chat feature. Um, I, I'm not really sure exactly how that's going to work. I'll, I'll be letting you all know more about that later. Uh, connect with me there <laughs> if you don't mind, because I think that will make a, a, a an interesting an interesting test for us to find out if this is a platform that we can actually use. Uh, and, and will it accomplish the things that we need to accomplish? But most importantly, you need to have, and I say this as kindly as I know how, you need to have an ownership over the audience. In other words, if I want you to know something, I need to be able to say it and you need to be able to hear it. That's kind of important. If, um, but, but I've noticed, and, and, and I'm getting a message from somebody right now who was part of that early crowd, uh, doesn't even know I'm live. So that's, that's a concern for me. Because at one point in time, and I look back at my numbers, at one point in time when I would do a live feed, I would have 40 or 50 or 60 people on live feed. Today I have three or four or five. And that's telling me that Facebook has decided to restrict that audience and they restrict the outreach that goes with that. Uh, and that's not good. That's, I don't do this just for the exercise. Uh, I, have, I have a podcast account and I have done over 100 podcasts in that. And I'm seriously considering doing this Bucket Talks, not as a live feed into Facebook, but doing it as a Bucket Talk podcast 
making that available on locals, making it available on my podcatcher, and maybe even using YouTube to make that podcast available. But I don't do this to restrict my audience. I do it to expand it. The whole purpose of this is to reach more people and to be able to impact more people and more lives. And so that's the point that I want to make today is that it's really important that you own the audience and that you're, um, and I mean that, I don't mean that in ownership and that you're mine and nobody else's. Uh, I've actually gotten in trouble for that before, not by me, but by somebody else who thought they owned an audience and they don't. It's uh, just simply <coughs> that I have control over what I feed to you, what I provide for you, what I give to you. I have some control over that and that you have some control over whether you get it or not. Those are things that are important. And when I say own the audience, um, that you understand what I'm talking about there. That's all I have for today. Make sure you connect with me on locals. I think that was, I think that's going to be a good alternative. At least we'll give it a, a, a test for a while and we'll run that. I probably will not go live tomorrow. I just, I probably will not. Uh, if I do, I'll let you, <laughs> I'll let you know. But like I said, this is my shutdown time. This is when I begin to kind of shut down and make plans for the coming year and uh, and kind of lay out what it is I want to do and where I want to go and how I want to approach that. That's what kind of speak is a bit about, about um, that audience and what you do with the audience and how do you make um, the greatest impact that you can possibly make. At one time, that was on Facebook. Today, it may not be on Facebook anymore. All right. So just keep that in mind. We're just trying, kind of looking at some options and some alternatives, and I'll be informing you as to what I discovered. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, I love you. I look forward to talking to you soon.